yo, um, I'm gonna make a video response to this notion. But this whole situation with Will Smith, and I see a lot of people talk about it, and I see International Passport make a a reminder. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to watch the live. Well, I'm busy, but. It's talking about how the situation basically with Will Smith is going to is um is it setting setting brothers back from um Asian women and stuff like that. And I even see people saying that this situation don't push black people back hundreds of years. Oh, it, it, it's a bunch of ridiculous stuff. First of all, I don't like how. Look, I'm not champion what Will Smith did, but I'm just gonna call this out. I don't like wh how people use this situation to gas like Ebony Man. Like, why should all of us get held accountable for what Will Smith did? Like, Will Smith is his own action. His actions are his own. Like, what do they gotta do with brothers as a whole? That's my thing. And international passport with all due respect is that like it's like him it's like he wants to be underneath an Asian woman's skirt so bad that he that he's making up all these uh, unrealistic standards no on uh, no disrespect to the brother but damn like if that's enough to set Asian women off because of what Will Smith did then they was never on our team anyways. They was never on our side anyways. They never had our best interest in the first place. So you you, gonna, you telling me that, that we're supposed to get judged as a whole because of what one black man did? And I don't like this whole narrative that you're trying to paint black men as, as being violent, as if black men are just supposed to be pacifists 100%. It's like everybody else does the same thing. It, it's nothing. It's just a heated situation. This happens all the time. People blowing this out of proportion. It's like, yo, bro, look at Brad. He he goes off the grid all the time. All this racist rhetoric. They use violence too. It's mass shootings, school shootings. I mean, these are the same type of cats who made Chinese exclusion acts cause gold rust massacre, kill all those Chinese men, burn up their communities like they did ours, uh, send opioids to China. What else they did? Yeah, throwing bombs. Dropping bombs on them, sending them in, in timid camps, in female camps, stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. And, and guess what? A lot of these cats still love Brad's guts. They still worship the ground he stand on. Obviously, there's not stopping him from getting, getting the women, even the guys, because even other guys try to get underneath these, um, try to get underneath Brad. So I don't like the fact that guys are trying to use this whole Will Smith situation to gaslight like black men as a whole. Like, come on, man. That's buffoonery. It's it's really buffoonery. It's like guys want to be underneath people's skirts so bad that they lose their self-respect. Look, I like that swim fire rice too. I like that sushi too. But damn, have some respect for yourself. Self-respect. But this is all I wanted to say. Let me know what you guys think and I'm out. And let me drop a PS, a PS for that ass. If Will Smith was in the position he in, if it was SYSBM, this probably wouldn't even happen. I thought this was unnecessary what Will Smith did.
especially on that stage, but, like, it is what it is at the same time. Shit happens. You got Daggles and Simps out here championing what Will Smith did. I'm not champion, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not going to throw him completely under the bus because shit happens. Shit happens all the time. Everybody goes through some shit. But why he's got to get blown out, out of out of the screen? Because he a brother. That's why I don't like. But again, I'm out this time.